Hi, my name's Rob Scott from UC Today News, and in this session, I'm joined by the head of product for Zoom Team Chat, who will be taking us through why chat in Zoom just got even better. So welcome, Shavri. Nice to see you. Hi, Rob. Nice to see you as well. Hi, everyone. I'm Shavri Nerurkar. Uh, I'm the head of product for Zoom Chat, uh, and it's fantastic to be here uh, talking to Rob and all of you today. And hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, I mean, some news this week. I mean, you've just released Zoom Team Chat, which is something we're going to have to get used to. Can you start by talking us through what, what it is and, and how it's different from just this kind of standard chat in meetings, for example? Absolutely. So uh, Zoom Chat, uh, formerly Zoom Team Chat, formerly known as Zoom Chat, has been around for a year, uh, for a while. We released it uh, not too long after our meetings product. What we're doing now is we are renaming it to Zoom Team Chat. Uh, because we we want to focus uh, on enterprise scenarios and solving the problems of information workers. Uh, you may be familiar with the in-meeting chat experience, which is the chat you use in a meeting. Uh, and team chat is uh, much more powerful uh, than that experience in several ways. Uh, the first is it is persistent, meaning the chats are there for you to go back and continue the conversation. Second, uh, team chat has threading which means in chats and channels, uh, you can have different threads and continue the conversations about those threads. Third, it has the ability uh, to be uh, richer in the sense you can share files, you can share GIFs, you can do emoji reactions on the threads, uh, you can uh, you, you know, even set up notifications based on uh, different channels. You can organize these conversations into folders for example, to uh, streamline how you, how you uh, do your work. Uh, we also have functionalities like at mentions and you have at mention pages where you can just walk through all your at mentions in the day. Uh, so all in all, it's a full uh, collaboration uh, product that helps you collaborate with not just internal, but with external uh, collaborators as well. So it's interesting, is it? It's, it's always been there. But now we're yes. renaming it. We're kind of bringing the Rolls Royce out the garage a little bit, I suppose. And, you know, is Zoom Team Chat an additional option for, for Zoom users? You know, how are you packaging this up? So Zoom Team Chat is included with all our Zoom meeting, uh, Zoom One bundles, as well as Zoom phone plans. Uh, most of you are familiar with using the in-meeting chat. What Team Chat does a step further is it is persistent chat, meaning you can always go back to those conversations after the meeting has ended. Uh, and it is also rich collaboration. So you can share files, you can share gifts and have some fun. Uh, you can, uh, you know, uh, set uh, notifications uh, or on the different messages. Uh, you can create group chats with your colleagues. So it's much more than the ephemeral meeting chat that you're used to. Understood. So, I mean, in, in a world where everyone's trying to hybrid work, I mean, does this type of solution, you know, operate, you know, or help help us operate better in remote situations? Absolutely. I think uh, with hybrid work, uh, we need solutions that are flexible and that allow everybody to collaborate based on their uh, location, their style. Uh, you may be going to the airport and you need to be in touch with your colleagues on your phone. Or you may be like I am right now, sitting in front of your computer with two large, uh, you know, external monitors. And whatever the solution is, it needs to cater to all different types of people. Uh, so what Zoom Team Chat does is one, uh, we have uh, mobile uh, as well as uh, desktop apps. Uh, uh, it's fast, it's quick. Uh, you can collaborate with your uh, colleagues on the go if you want to, and it's uh, very tightly integrated with your existing Zoom products which means you can seamlessly hop off from synchronous collaboration, which is in a meeting, to asynchronous collaboration and continue the conversation forward. Nice, and I know today's you know discussion wasn't just gonna be limited to a name change. I mean, there's lots coming down the line here, isn't there, with the Zoom team chat. So talk us through what, what you've got going on at Zoom and what uh, you know your customers could look forward to. Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot coming in the uh, next few months, uh, and I'll talk to three areas that I'm uh, particularly excited about. The first, Rob, is like you mentioned in the previous question, with hybrid work, we need uh, uh, we need our solutions to separate different uh, to support different use cases. So we are launching Zoom Team Chat in our progressive web, web app. 
What that means is for our users who are not able to download the client for some reason, they can now chat through the browser. Uh, the second thing I personally use internally for, for a while, and we are excited to release it later this month, is reminders. What you can do is set reminders on uh, messages, and that way you can stay on top of uh, the, the work you need to do and get back to colleagues. Uh, the second area, of course, is how do we collaborate better with our meetings experience, right? Very often customers tell us that I have a bunch of conversations before a meeting, and then after the meeting, I want to take the conversation ahead, right? Because collaboration doesn't stop with the meeting. So we are adding the ability to share your in-meeting chat to an existing channel or even create a new channel with the people in the meeting. And that way you can just continue, uh, you know, talking about the action items and follow-ups and so on and so forth. Additionally, uh, if somebody uh, gives you a call or, or like uh, invites you to a meeting uh, in Zoom, uh, you can now reply with a quick text message, with a chat message saying, hey, uh, you know, I'll call you back or I'm running late or something like that. So that helps you quickly respond. Uh, and the third area, which I'm super excited about, is uh, integration with different apps in team chat. Uh, we all know that our basic business flows, core business flows are in different apps outside, uh, you know, that we work with. The first integration uh, that is rolling out later this month is an integration with ServiceNow Virtual ag Agents. This will enable uh, IT administrators and IT service management organizations to set up the ServiceNow virtual agent in Zoom team chat so that employees can just talk to it and reset their password and go through the you know, common IT uh, queries that they have in an organization. And this is just the beginning. Over the next few months, you'll see several uh, integrations just come uh, into the product uh, and we'll be announcing them uh, as we go forward. Well, some really great features there and, and solving some real business problems, you know, I think for organizations, which is great to hear. Um, for anyone looking to find out more about Zoom Team Chat, what's the best way to, uh, to, to explore the product in, in more detail? If you're using the uh, Zoom phone or the Zoom meetings product, you probably already have Zoom Chat. It's right next to home. Uh, but in addition, if you want to know what its capabilities are, we'll share a URL uh, uh, with, in, with this video that you can click on and find out more. That's fantastic. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. Shabri, it's been great talking to you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me, Rob. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. If you've got some good takeaways from today's session, do give us a quick mention on social and subscribe to our channel for more industry news and insights. I'm Rob Scott from UC Today. Thanks for watching.